time. The embarrassing situation with New York Representative Anthony Weiner got a little more confusing over the weekend. Uh, the press was reporting that the police in a neighboring state were interviewing a 17-year-old girl and her mother about her online communications with the congressman. While the congressman denied that anything obscene or abusive had happened in the communications, the long stoic uh, Weiner appeared shaken and was checking himself into rehab. Meanwhile, a growing list of leading Democrats or demanding that the, that the congressman resign. This is a truly embarrassing ball and graves for one of the leading spokesmen for the Democratic Party and particularly for the Democratic left. Uh, while it's probably fairly clear that he could have, may have been reelected easily in his home district, in your home district you're more valued for helping grandma get her social security, for having spoken at all the uh, local organizations and groups, and for being one of the boys. But on the national level, this scandal is massively embarrassing to Democrats everywhere. It gets them off message and it doesn't give them an, and, it, and it saddles them with someone else's problem. So Democrats in growing numbers are demanding that the congressman resign. Uh, in many ways, uh, this scandal is unlike some of the earlier scandals, but the greatest risk he faces now is these charges involving a 17-year-old. While he may have been shot at and missed at this time, the flavor of the entire controversy changed once it's not about adults behaving badly, but about adults being a threat to children. Whether that's a fair charge against the congressman or not, even last week the press was asking, how do you know online who you're dealing with? And that also the absolute devastation for the congressman would be if two things happen. Another child emerges, and some communication that was clearly too risque is involved with that, at which time his political demise becomes a certain.